of the countdown now being conducted by the launch sequencers on board the orbiter. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. The SRB nozzles have been moved to start position. Coming up on 10, T minus 10, 9. We have go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Minus 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket boosters and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle, and the space shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling the mission control. Confirms roll maneuver started. 20 seconds, thrust looks good. 25 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, Columbia now one nautical mile in altitude. 35 seconds, status check commission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson, giving a go at 40 seconds. Columbia Houston, your go at 40. Roger, go at 40, and master arm, and it's the... Uh... 48 seconds, throttling inch down for Mexico. Roger, ignore the master alarm, Columbia. Okay, Coming up on prey to maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. Mark one minute, Columbia now five nautical miles in altitude, three nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 2,300 feet per second. One minute, eight seconds, pass through max Q. Columbia still looking good, throttling engines back to 100%. Mark, one minute, 20 seconds, Columbia now nine nautical miles in altitude, six nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 3,000 feet per second. Mark, one minute, 35 seconds, Columbia now 14 nautical miles in altitude, 10 nautical miles down range. Hey, Columbia Houston, uh, you can expect an EVAP, C&W. One, one minute, 45 seconds, coming up on negative seats where altitude's too high for ejection seat. Your negative seats. Roger, negative seats. Mark, one minute, 55 seconds, Columbia now 21 nautical miles in altitude, 18 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 5,000 feet per second. Standing by now for solid rocket booster separation confirmation. 50 at 205. Roger, copy. PC less than 50. Confirm good right solid rocket system. booster separation. Smooth it, please, Houston. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Onboard guidance is converging as program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 35 nautical miles in altitude, 40 nautical miles down range. Okay, Houston, we got the temps are coming down and uh, looking good. Roger, Club. I think the computer's flying it now. Next thing we'll hear is the gear lowering. They're going to have to do that, which is a critical point right. in this flight plan. Right. We'll hear pre-flare, and he'll take it back from the computer about that time, I believe. And by pre-flare... Boy, it's coming right at us. When it begins to break that high sink rate, about uh, 2,500 feet above the ground, Joe will take it back. No computer is going to steal this landing from him. 220. You know, it's amazing. When you see it on television, you don't have the perception that you do watching it visually. Uh -huh. It's just uh -huh. dropping out of dropping the sky. Dropping out of the sky, yeah. It really is remarkable. Well, it drops about 13,000 feet per minute. Yeah, All it, under control. 40,000 feet it drops. Yeah, 9,000 feet in the last It starts the nose up. Speed brakes are closed for 270 knots. It's starting the nose up. Chase concurs. Okay. All the hydraulics are working well, Joe Kerwin. He's clear to Three land. Down. Three down. Oh, lovely. Oh, boy. 100, 50, 30, 20, 10, 5, 3, yeah. touchdown. Uh, so to 15. And Columbia Ten. proves the basic premise that you can send Ten. these things up more than once. It's never Five. been done before, but you've just seen it done before your very eyes. The world's first you, reusable spaceship.
It's a very nice ending to what has to be a disappointing flight for these two gentlemen, Engel and Truly. They had to cut it short. They got a lot of their missions done, but they came back in very good form. And the important thing is to them and to NASA and, of course, to the American people is that the Columbia can go again. I don't think it's a disappointing flight at all. When Bob Parker said that in Houston, I wanted to box his ears. Uh, all the important uh, objectives have been achieved.